Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for today. And welcome to the first in a series of videos bringing you the new DLC on test server, uh, episode number 38, Wonderverse. Uh, they literally just released this yesterday onto the test server. They had their live stream uh, kind of preview. And they also have a live stream on Monday where they're going to play with players. And that's going to be in the evening. I think about like 6.30 or 6.45 uh, Eastern Standard Time. So we'll see if I can sneak in there. But um, what this is, is the solo. Uh, this is going to be the Temples of Source Power. Now, you'll see at the beginning here, there should be a cutscene here, unless it, they don't do it the second time. This is the second time I did the solo, because I did it out of order. So I wanted to do it in order of the DLC, just to kind of see how the menus kind of progressed. So usually there'd be a cutscene there, just introducing that um, Anubia. Is it Anubia? Looks like Nubia. Um, when she kind of talked about her kind of intro. So I guess if you do it the first time, it doesn't show it the second time because I didn't I didn't turn any cog, so not entirely sure. But uh, back on point, uh, they don't have a release date yet for this DLC. Usually when it goes on test server, it's two weeks, but we don't have Elite, uh, and we this is such a large one. They kind of I'm sure they want to test it for open world because this is really this is really an open world focused um, DLC. They do have one raid, they do have one alert. Uh, they have some solos, daily, stuff like that. But the focus that they want to put everything on is open world. Uh, I don't know what turn this cog. I'm sure it's a feat related, but um, I thought I'd turn the cog on it anyway. But yeah, uh, enough kind of distractions here. So uh, I think they want to play test as much as they can because the last thing they want, I mean, the, literally the last thing they want is to have this release turned into the Birds of Prey with all the open world lag and the whole DLC lag because that would pretty much entirely ruin their DLC like it did Birds of Prey at the beginning. So, I know that's the last thing they want. I'm sure they're going to put on test server a little bit longer. Because if two weeks from now, that'd be like the first week in of August or something like that. So, um, But, I mean, that's just my opinion. They, they certainly could be coming two weeks from now. Who knows? Uh, it just depends if they follow their regular schedule or not. So, uh, the other thing you'll notice with me on the boss here, or the kind of the first boss. So, really, um, I'll show you at the end, but there's different types of solos for this Um DLC and the uh, NPCs vary slightly and I'm also using the suicide artifact so um, we'll see how that kind of plays out for me <laughs> it's probably not the uh, probably not the best idea to be using the suicide artifact when you're soloing um, but I mean we'll, we'll kind of see how it all plays out <laughs> but, uh, it was on my single target build regardless so I figured why not but I do want to now, my plan with this DLC is because there's going to be a lot of content to cover because there's a lot of little changes as well, uh, like augments have changed, kind of like health mod, like the generator mods have changed, how they're going about that, uh, OP items, you know, the leveling process, there's little things like the strategist card got adjusted. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of stuff to cover in this DLC with the DLC as well. So what I'm planning to do is have two videos out a day because um, I know I don't like to spam you guys. The last thing I want to do is just like, be one of those people that hey hey the dude DLC's on test let me upload like 10 videos in like four hours <laughs> it's like that's not what I want to do uh it just brings down the quality down um you guys can't watch it in progression so it's uh, what I'm thinking about doing is doing two videos a day one in the morning one in the, one in the evening in the evening I mean like probably like uh four or five o'clock in the morning I probably mean it like you know usually mornings I try to do earlier because I knew I have a lot of uh, European watchers so I try to do that like 8 30 9 30 eastern which would be um what's that six hours from there that'd be like two or three o'clock their time which is a little bit more acceptable than like you know 10 o'clock 11 o'clock their time so the uh this grail actually kind of had to interrupt there for a sec um she's not too bad looking I mean, I, I don't know the comic back backstory to Grail at all. I know she's a really stupid AI that keeps spamming you with staff combos that are vulnerable. But, but uh, so, you know, if I wasn't a firepower that had two, two channels on their bar, actually three channels, sorry, I'd be a lot better off. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd take her over Wonder Woman, that's for sure. But, I mean, hey, <laughs> that, that's just me. But, yeah, like I said, I'm going to spread out the, the test server content, try to bring you two a day. Uh, they don't have the elite raid yet. I'm not sure if they mentioned that. They're going to be doing the regular raid and then taking feedback from there and then seeing. Uh, yeah, see. So, yeah, uh, suicide artifact was not the best artifact to run for the solo. Um, 
Uh, I probably could have played that differently. I was doing the exact same rotation where I used the finisher every other combo. I'm going to have to use it every combo. But, uh, hey, that's that's what you get. But yeah, with spreading the content out, you, you still just get the experience. Uh, and it's not kind of just spam straight at you. Um, because we've got to cover the raid. There's tons of bounties. There's a solo, the alert. Uh, I have to bring you updates for the artifacts. Uh, because uh, Batuba is changing how um, the amulet damage is not going to show up as, as damage done to you. So it's going to be better for the parsing. It hasn't changed yet, but it will. Uh, he slightly changed the lasso artifact in terms of increasing the heal it gives you, but then max cap the heal at 2% of your max health. Um, don't think the healer one changed, but I, I, I know some more details about the healer artifact and how it works uh, that I didn't explain correct. Not, only, not so much correctly, but I didn't explain um, in the first video there. So I'll definitely be giving you an update on the artifacts and if they're worth it to even buy for 200. So I'll bring that closer just in terms of any other updates come out. But all in all, it's... Uh, the DLC is looking like a lot of content so far, and look, and I guess the the one the one positive I'd say for this DLC so far is that oh, I'll let you kind of listen to the cutscene here. Then we get the raid loot, and now we're getting um, generator mods dropping randomly in our loot as well. So the other thing I want to pick up here, just in a sec. Okay, so I do want to mention as well, when you are in the open world map, and you can kind of get a sense of how large the open world is by looking at this, uh, there are three separate teleporters on the different ends that will take you to three different, different variations of the solo. So I think you can only access the one solo from the uh, actual uh, F1Q menu or the, or the, the um, on-duty menu. But if you're in here, you can access different ones. So you go up to the teleporter, you get the split between the event version and the regular version, uh, and you'll be able to enter that solo. Uh, I did see that once I entered it, I couldn't reset myself. Uh, so you may want to reset yourself before you go into that teleporter if you want to uh, get the loot for it. Uh, it could have just been a bug, but uh, I tried to reset myself once I was in the instance. Usually you're allowed to do that, um, but I, I couldn't hear. So as you can see here, when you enter the instance, it's a different Diana. Uh, instead of Nubia, it's, it's Comrade Diana, so I'll shut up for the cutscene. And then I also want to show you that uh, different solos have different bosses. So the first boss is always going to be different. Uh, I fought that... Um, Minotaur the first time and then this guy's the parademon because I guess this version of the solo is based on the like apocalyptian um, Part of the open world. So I guess that's why everything's red uh, That's why the boss is uh, the parademon Now the final boss in Gale the exact same uh, her, her abilities change slightly, but all she's doing is, spa is spamming a staff combo So uh, that doesn't change but the first boss does so um, Just something new because we got, so we got technically three different solos Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.